Hi everyone, Lua here with part 3 of 3 in our series on publishing in Confluence. We've talked about HR documentation and quality management, and today we're going to discuss remote publishing to another Confluence instance. If you have an external audience or a third party that you want to share content with, but you want to keep your internal or draft content separate and secure, you can use Kamala Remote Publishing to copy content from one Confluence instance to another. One example we've seen is from video game developers that have assets and documentation which they need to share with other studios while still keeping their intellectual property and confluence secure. One thing to note is that Kamala Remote Publishing works together with Kamala Document Management, our app for building workflows in confluence, so you'll need both apps for this solution. You can send files from one self-hosted instance to another, that's data center or server, or from a self-hosted instance to a cloud instance, and that's what I'll be showing you today. Here I have my internal Confluence server instance, and you'll see that it has lots of private information, including HR docs, internal projects, and so on, which I wouldn't want to share with someone outside my company. But it does have this documentation space, which I want to share with a third party. I also have a cloud instance with a space called documentation, and this is where I want to publish my documents. Back in my internal instance, I'm going to create the connection or configuration between my two instances. So I'll go to my Space Tools, Document Management, and Remote Publishing. And here I can fill in the information. So I'll make a name for this configuration, and remember this name because you'll need it later. For the URL, you'll use the URL of the target instance, and make sure you have wiki at the end or it won't work. For the user, you'll want to enter a user in the target instance. Content updates on the target instance will be carried out by this user account, so make sure to choose a user who has permissions to create and edit pages in your target space, like an admin, or you could create a special user account just for publishing pages. For a cloud instance, you will enter the user's email address. Now for the password, this is one difference between publishing to a cloud instance or a self-hosted instance. In a self-hosted instance, I can just enter the user's password, but for cloud, I need an API token. Luckily, that's easy to get. I'll just go to this address here, which we'll link to in the description. So you can see that I'm logged in as my cloud user, and now I will create the API token, give it a name, create and copy. Now I can enter that token into the password field. Finally, enter the space key for the target space and press add. Now you can test the configuration to make sure it works. And it looks like we're good. Now that the configuration is set up, we need to add a workflow that will perform the actual publishing action. I'm going to use a simple workflow that you can find on our wiki, and the link for that will also be in the description below. But of course, you can build your own custom workflow with the states and approvals that you need. So I will just add a simple workflow to the page and edit in the markup. And now I'm just going to paste in my workflow, which I took from the wiki. One change I need to make to the workflow is to add the name of my configuration, which I'll add right here beside remote publish page. So let's save that and then exit. Here you can see the workflow is applied to my page. And because I changed the workflow, I will just have to submit it, which starts the workflow uh, that I actually entered in. So here I'm in an editing state and I will submit it. And then there's a chance to review or reject the page. And once I approve, the page will enter into a published state. And at this stage, it will be automatically published using remote publishing. Now I can go to my cloud instance and refresh my page. And if we look at the updated list of pages, we can see there's my page. With remote publishing, you can share content with an external audience while maintaining full control and keeping your own internal instance secure. If you have any questions about setting up remote publishing, please reach out to us. Thanks for watching and have a great day.